for allowing me to address you today. I'd like to, of course, highlight the presence of Ms. Anne-Marie Page, our Assistant Deputy Minister. <laughs> Mr. Guy Ouellette, who is the Chamonix for MNA, who regretfully is not here yet, but you're going to see him walk down the aisle shortly in about 15 minutes. Uh, as well as, uh, I'd like to, of course, highlight to Mr. Jim Jordan, President of AESQ. Uh, Madame Josée Bouchard, President of the Federation de Commission Scolaire du Québec. Mr. David Johnson, the representative of the Office of the Commission of Official Languages. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> Ms. Rhonda Boucher, President of the English Parent Committee Association. <laughs> as well as the other eight uh, English uh, school board board chairs who are here with me today. It's an honor to be here representing you on this stage. You know, I take a look around this room and everyone here today has really committed themselves to making their community's public schools the best that they can possibly be. You are all among the individuals who have really put the time in to make a difference, and I'm so grateful for that. You are a powerful and influential group of leaders. You have helped shape education, and you are an inspiration. You know, I, I often, I, I wonder that what people think when you come up on a stage and you give a speech, and I'm nervous. I'm always very nervous before I give a speech. Because you tend to think that the people that are coming on the stage are the people that are important and the ones that you need to listen to. But really what I feel is that you are the ones that are important. So I'm very nervous addressing you because I admire you and I look up to you. So I want you to know that this conference is really all about you and everything that I'm gonna to say today is really all about you because you are the conversation. And I hope that you recognize the incredible job that you're all doing. I'm really so proud to be here amongst you and I wanna thank you all for all of your hard work and to all of the board members for your dedication to making conferences like this possible and making English public education in the province of Quebec something that should be revered. Think outside the box. I love this title. It's a reminder to me that this conference, which some of you may or may not know, is really unique in Canada in that it combines not only QESBA but AESQ. Nobody else does that. And so it shows that we really think outside the box. It reminds me also that each and every one of you has also thought outside the box. And the proof is that under your leadership, our graduation rate has climbed to a combined 85%. We are more successful today than any time in our history. And for that, you should be very proud. And if that isn't impressive enough for you, across the nine English school boards, our schools are unmatched in this province in integrating and serving the needs of a population that is incredibly diverse, an immigrant community, children with special needs, and all of this through tough economic times and budget cutbacks. Nobody else does what we do, and nobody else does it better. Sorry, Jose. <laughs> but thinking outside the box is so much more than that. It's the fact that despite the 85% success rate, I know from my personal experience at Sir Wilfrid Laurier, and I'm sure that it's the same at the other eight boards, that every one of you is always thinking about the 15%. What we can do to achieve more success, what we can do to work together, team build, collaborate, and really be part of a community. We're always striving for more, and ultimately, we all want to be the best in what we do. And that's true whether you're a commissioner, an administrator, a director, a teacher, or a parent. You know, personally, it's easy for me to say why I'm here today. I'm here today because of the teachers and the administrators in the schools in my board. My children had the privilege of attending John F. Kennedy Elementary, and the principal of that school is here today, as well as now both of my children attend Laval Junior Academy, and the principal is also here with us today. And I'm very grateful because they didn't just save my kids, they saved me. And that's the reason why I'm here, and I'm very proud to represent Sir Wilfrid Laurier and QESBA. Because of their belief in my kids, they made me believe that anything is possible. And when you really value education and you invest in your children, you'll see how far that they can go. And so I really thank you for all of that. Because our school boards really have the influence to shape today's policy debate. 
We need to write the history, not read it. That's so important. We don't think enough about that. And that's what drives QESBA and our commissioners. We're all working hard to make a difference. We want the voice of school boards to be heard and to shape public opinion and for policymakers to pay attention. And I'm looking at Anne-Marie as I'm saying that. And it's important for me to emphasize that this is really also a team effort. One of the greatest strengths of our community is that we don't work in silence. This conference is a reminder that education belongs to everyone and that working together we collectively have placed education in the center of today's political debate. Promoting, protecting, and preserving English public education will not only take Quebec to new heights, it'll ensure a hopeful and bright future for all of us, every single one of us in this room. And that's something that should not be thinking outside the box, but should be part of our everyday conversation. This conference is part of working together toward that brighter future. And I know for a fact that both the commissioners and the administrators of the Sewerford Laurier School Board have worked tirelessly to bring this week into fruition. And it's always a pleasure for me to have people come up to me and tell me what a great job we've done and what a wonderful team we have. I feel very proud to be part of Sewerford Laurier School Board. Yes, woohoo! <laughs> I'm sure that you'll all agree that this program will be beneficial to all the participants who are here today and hopefully it's going to help us to usher in a new era in the way we offer professional development to our members. So on behalf of the board of directors of QESBA and the nine board chairs, I wish you all a fantastic conference and I look forward to speaking with as many of you as possible throughout these next two days. Have a great day.